So we kind of get this idea by emphasizing our part here, don't take revenge, that somehow revenge itself, that whole concept is wrong and that God is bound by our rules and that vengeance isn't going to happen because it's just a bad thing. And that's not what this passage says here. Moses assures us that the Lord maintains love to thousands and forgives wickedness, rebellion, and sin, yet he does not leave the guilty unpunished. Exodus 34, 7. Even in the passage I read before from Romans and Deuteronomy, don't take revenge. Why? Leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to repay. I will repay, says the Lord. It's mine to avenge. I will repay. Isaiah promised that the Messiah will come, um, Isaiah 61. And part of what he was going to do is this, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God. Now we can entrust our case to God and trust him to judge and carry out appropriate vengeance because he's promised to and because his verdict is just. He doesn't get it wrong ever. His, if he declares somebody guilty or innocent, he knows what he's talking about and he's not going to be swayed. His sentence is appropriate. His choice of punishment, the severity, it is absolutely appropriate when he calls it. And his violence is righteous. That is the enactment of the punishment upon sin. Now, there is a place for violence. You know, we, we want to paint everything with such broad brush strokes, but there's, there's more detail than that in Scripture. Not all violence is evil. Ecclesiastes 3 says there is a time for everything under heaven. There's a time for war and there's a time for peace. The problem is that human impulses and human judgment are marred by sin. And often they don't function properly. We rely on our own perception and act on our own impulses as if we were God. But our perception is limited and often distorted, and our impulses are often sinful. We resort to violence prematurely, and we execute it unjustly. Or we become passive and cowardly and fail to act, which is equally sin and unrighteous. Um, if we fail to act when we should, that is unrighteousness. In both cases, we fail righteousness and fall short of the glory of God. Jesus never does. 